the one worshiping the Holy Ghost changes he becomes healed he becomes youth renewed he becomes wealthy he becomes that person that he views in the looking glass The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstra. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. People often ask me what I believe because from an outside perspective or from an outside point of view i have seemingly a non-standard belief can you see that the standard would be them <laughs> so anything outside of what they believe is non-standard well you know that i worship the holy ghost as god in the earth He's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today, and he's the one Jesus sent. Mm -hmm. Say, he's the one, he's the one. Jesus, sent Jesus sent to be with you, mm -hmm. right? And he's the only one here. But my daily belief, my daily active belief, what I believe actively daily, mm -hmm. I believe in the said word of God, the word of God that's spoken. And I actively believe in it Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 my son attend to my words incline thine ear unto my sayings so we have his word but you're supposed to incline your ear to his sayings that means your ear only hears the said word of God can you understand that yeah you can't hear the non said word of God or the unspoken word of God it makes no sound so you're inclining your ear say my ear, my ear to the spoken word of God verse 21 says let them not depart from thine eyes why do you suppose he says that because when you say a word you not only hear it but you see it say when I say it when I, say it, I see it I see let them not depart from thine eyes keep them in the midst of thine heart verse 22 for they are life what are life the spoken word of God so literally his spoken words are life to you I believe in the spoken word of God because they're life to me and it's how I have learned to walk with God the Holy Ghost is by the spoken word of God or the said word of God so my daily active belief is walking with him saying things this has become my religion James chapter 1 verse 25 says but whoso looks into the perfect law of Liberty what would the perfect law of Liberty be but saying the word of God they saying the word, saying the word. is the perfect law, the perfect law. Of, liberty. of liberty and you look into it well I got to look into that no you look into it I look into it but whoso looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues therein why do you have to say that why didn't you just say we look at it once and then walk away he being not a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work this man shall be blessed in his deed so who's the man that gets blessed the one that looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues therein continues what continues looking so the perfect law of liberty is the said word of god and the man who continues in it shall be blessed this man shall be blessed in his deed and the deed is looking into the perfect law of Liberty are you here now I've brought many people to this place of worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and walking with him by saying words 
many people have come here by hearing those words many for the first time mm -hmm. and they may look into it briefly but so many of them don't continue they don't continue listen they don't continue here in who's the man that gets blessed the one who continues Hebrews 10 38 says those who turn back God has no pleasure in in mark chapter 4 verse 16 and these are they which are sown on stony ground who when they have heard the word immediately receive it with gladness I can't tell you the number of people who immediately receive it with gladness mm -hmm. oh this is great verse 17 and have no root in themselves and so endure for but a time have you seen this before mm -hmm. people they come in they they get all excited and they endure for but a time and afterward when affliction or persecution arises for the word's sake immediately they are offended what are they offended over the word mm -hmm. and people that don't agree with it because they have no root in themselves those are the people that's my point here those are the people who don't continue you have to continue mm -hmm. say I have to, I have to. Continue, continue if you're going to be blessed mm -hmm. and I'm assuming that's what you want yeah. so we have to look into the perfect law of Liberty and continue therein Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 5 behold I will work a work in your days and you will not believe even though it was told you and I told you I've been telling people mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost is God he's the only God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words I told you this and there are people who won't believe it they will not believe it say will not will not because they're offended somehow over it mm -hmm. nevertheless second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away what is a veil but something that keeps you from seeing something you're supposed to be seeing mm -hmm. what well, we're supposed to be seeing into the perfect law of Liberty and people that have the veil over their eyes can't see it yet nevertheless when the veil's taken away what happens they begin to see it they begin to see it in a way that they've never seen it before how many times have I told you that verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit who's that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost do you suppose there's anyone who that are still on the other side of that veil and haven't seen that yet yeah. mm -hmm. that the Lord God the Holy Ghost he's the one in the earth that we walk with it happens to be by saying words but they haven't seen it yet so they're still behind the veil now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is or where the spirit Lord is there is Liberty freedom verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass or as in a mirror mm -hmm. or you could say a looking glass say a looking glass a looking glass. a looking glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord or the Spirit Lord they have to look into this perfect law of Liberty which is also called a looking glass are you here mm -hmm. and then as they do say as they do, as they, do. they are changed from one glory to another what if you don't look in there mm -hmm. what if you're still on the other side of that veil then you can't see it and you can't be changed into what you're seeing in that looking glass well clearly we see that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today mm -hmm. I see it clearly and, and those words are like strange to most people but I see it clearly and I see that we walk with him 
by speaking in agreement with his words that's the perfect law of liberty that I enter into if I continue if I don't continue I'm not blessed in that deed but now the Lord is that spirit and it's a perfect law of liberty a looking glass that I continue here in you must continue say I must continue, I must continue. if I don't continue what do you get not blessed you go back and you do all the old things that you did before and you scrape by but you don't go here mm -hmm. so you don't go here, don't go go here. here. where mm -hmm. behind the veil into the looking glass into the perfect law of liberty mm -hmm. I hope you can hear that the word says this man shall be blessed what man shall be blessed you're looking into that mirror and that man shall be blessed what man the one you see in the looking glass the one who's entered in and is in there that man is blessed does that make sense yeah what's that man look like he looks like you but he looks like you blessed yeah. because in that mirror in that perfect law of liberty that man is healed mm -hmm. that man's youth is renewed that man is wealthy I'm blessed in there I look into that mirror and I see myself as a blessed one I'm blessed in there this man shall be blessed are you getting this mm -hmm no I don't see it yet keep looking continue this itself is part of the promise that if you continue looking the one that continues to look shall be blessed the one that conti doesn't continue shall just go some other way but inside this mirror I see myself healed inside this looking glass I see myself youth renewed inside this looking glass I see myself wealthy Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the holy is understanding now we know that the fear of the Lord is often translated worship of the Lord mm -hmm. and what Lord are we talking about the Holy, the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today so we worship him we fear him Psalms 96 9 says oh worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness fear before him all the earth you see that he's equating worship with the fear of the Lord Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 the fear of the Lord is the beginning does your Bible say that yeah. Yeah. what's the beginning the fear of the Lord the worshiping of the Lord who's the Lord God in the earth today holy. the Holy Ghost worship listen worshiping the Holy Ghost is the beginning of many things many things that most people haven't even begun yet and then he says knowledge of the holy is understanding of the holy who the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. so you worship him and then you gain knowledge of him of how to walk with him and we know that's by saying words mm -hmm. the fear and worship of the Holy Ghost is the beginning I testify to the fact that that's true I began many other places and had to begin over again when I began worshiping the Holy Ghost as God Jesus said when he is come he the Holy Ghost will teach you all things and guide you into all truth mm -hmm. what about if all things wouldn't that mean the beginning things mm -hmm. all truth wouldn't that mean the beginning truth you haven't even begun unless you've come here first where worshiping the Holy Ghost as God I worship you Holy Ghost is the beginning a start over for many people if they'll do it mm -hmm. a lot of people don't want to start over they've gone too far down the other road mm -hmm. 
there are those who built entire empires based on starting somewhere else yeah. do you suppose those people are gonna want to just restart it's too much to lose so they don't go here the I in I worship you Holy Ghost changes mm. what do you mean I mean you when you worship the Holy Ghost you change the I in I worship you Holy Ghost changes what does it change from one glory to another glory mm -hmm. the one worshiping the Holy Ghost changes he becomes healed he becomes youth renewed he becomes wealthy he becomes that person that he views in the looking glass think of this from God's perspective who would he want worshiping him would he want a sick weak beggarly needy urchin worshiping him he would accept it but that's not what he wants or would he rather have a strong capable healthy wealthy kings and ambassadors worshiping him if he didn't want that why would he heal them why would he prosper them because that's who he wants it's better there's more credibility there yeah. well from God's perspective looking in that perfect law of Liberty you were healed past tense say I was healed, I was healed. by Jesus stripes first Peter 2 24 you were healed past tense God's perspective he sent his word and healed them and delivered them Amen. from their destructions past tense Psalms 107 20 he bore your poverty that you might be made rich 2nd Corinthians 8 9 when did he bear your poverty in the past mm -hmm. when were you made rich also in the past you've already been made rich where do you see that in the perfect law of Liberty and you have to continue therein and then you change from one glory to the next glory are you here yeah. you must see it this way you must say it this way you see and you say it his way so where a lot of people miss it they don't want to say it because they think they're saying something that isn't that isn't true he said it's true so it must be true you have to see it that way and say it that way mm -hmm. I could say that over and over until you got really angry you have to see it that way and you have to say it that way his way mm -hmm. Amos chapter 3 verse 3 can two walk together except they be agreed agreed literally means to say the same thing if you're gonna walk with God in the earth you have to say the same thing that he's already said you have to say it that way you have to see it that way and continue therein you walk through that looking glass to the other side where you've become completely changed it's a glorious Liberty it's a perfect law of Liberty it's a law works every time but there are those who will not believe even though it was told them they think you're talking about a, a fictional wonderland on the other side of that looking glass but no it's an actual kingdom it's called the kingdom of God it's a godlike kingdom what do you mean godlike everything in there is godlike what do you think's not in that mirror you're beholding him yeah. but it doesn't happen by chance and just because you caught a glimpse out of the corner of your eye as you passed by it's a continuous gaze you have to have a continuous gaze I see myself in there healed I see myself in there delivered I see myself in there wealthy say that I see myself, I see myself in, there in there wealthy, wealthy. use these words I see myself and when you say it 
you see it it creates an image on the inside of you and it's the same image that's on the inside of the looking glass but if you did see it even if you had just a glimpse you should rejoice keep going back there till you get another glimpse because it's just the beginning and you will get a glimpse if you continue that's a promise but rejoice it is the beginning your healing has begun your deliverance has begun as you continue your prosperity has begun and you shall be completely changed that's you in the kingdom say that's me, that's me. in the kingdom second peter chapter 1 verse 19 we have also a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well this man shall be blessed mm -hmm. you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts how long are you supposed to do this until. until until it dawns the dawn is when the Sun comes up until it becomes brighter on the inside than the circumstances on the outside are you here are you seeing this mm -hmm. until the reality of what's on the other side of that looking glass is stronger and greater than what you might be looking at on the other side that's when it becomes a reality this man shall be blessed in his deed well I'm doing this I've seen too much to go the other way I'm going here join me if you will Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that they may enter in on the other side of that veil and see you and walk with you and be changed even as in a looking glass we thank you that they are blessed as they continue in this deed in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I worship you I thank you that you are changing me from glory to glory and all those wonderful things are beginning to happen to me right now in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand